Hey guys, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile before you buy video. The most awaited, the most loud, probably the most yoinked mythic blueprint inside of Call of Duty Mobile is going to be back in the store. That is the M13 Morningstar. Most importantly, it is not a redux, it's a rerun. So you are basically going to get every single item that was in the original draw. So if you missed it last time, this is your chance. Before we get into the interesting stuff, make sure you leave a like on this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing it. Because i'm so close to 70,000 subscribers first we are going to talk about the m13 morning star this should be the most popular blueprint inside of call of duty mobile and without a doubt it has the craziest design ever as usual this blueprint also comes with four reactive stages for two kills four kills six kills and eight kills the blueprint originally appears to be yellow in color but once you get these double kills it starts to glow while changing its color to red at the end it surely looks like a meteorite i bet you are also interested about the iron side because you are going to get an inbuilt red dot with this blueprint so let's compare the m13 mythic iron side the m13 legendary iron side and the default m13 you can see a drastic difference out of all three what do you think is the best i highly believe the red dot is going to help you a lot in long range gun fights because your aim is going to be a lot accurate in addition to the inbuilt red dot we are also going to get an ammo counter which shows the remaining ammo inside of your magazine but it's not that helpful because when you fire with it it, it shakes a lot and you can't really see how much ammo is left let's take a look at all three muscle flashes and all three kill effects when you just unlock the gun you are going to get the base muscle flash and the base kill effect what you see right now is the base muscle flash and here is the base kill effect to be honest the m13 base kill effect is not that great and when you upgrade the gun you're going to get the first upgraded muscle flash it's actually a lot better than the previous one and also here is the first upgraded kill effect out of all the kill effects from this mythic m13 this one is my favorite it just blasts the enemy to thin air take a look at the second upgraded muscle flash this muscle flash is much more detailed than the previous two and the second upgraded kill effect clearly shows a meteorite it is also a very bright kill effect time to take a look at the completionist camos pretty much any camo matches with the m13 morning star because of its unique design back in the day when we did not have any seasonal tournament camos Platinum was my best pick. Still, I think Platinum is the best one for the M13 Morning Star. But if you want to equip a tournament camo, maybe you should go with the Red Sprite. When you reach higher reactive stages, Glacier Ripple also looks pretty good. This is the 6th mythic blueprint inside of Call of Duty Mobile. So there are 8 upgrade levels but it will cost the same as newer mythics to max it out. When you unlock the gun you are at level 0 and you are going to get certain attachments. At level 1 you are going to get this sticker. Level 2 is where you get the first upgraded muscle flash, the first blood patch and several other attachments will be unlocked at level 4. At level 5 you are going to get a charm that you can only get by upgrading this mythic. Level 6 is where you get the second upgraded muscle flash and at level 7 you get the final kill effect but that's not the end when you reach level 8 not only you are going to get the calling card frame and six other attachment skins you're also going to get the mythic Shia feature when it was first released there was no mythic Shia feature inside of call of duty mobile but right now we do let me also show you all the mythic attachments real quick interestingly we don't get any mythic attachment skins for the muscle flash but we get all the three barrel attachment skins there are also no any optic attachment skin we get mythic skins for 3 out of all 4 stock attachments. For the less side, we are also going to get all 3, which is great. There are also no attachment skins for the under barrel. For ammunition also, you are going to get all the attachment skins. And finally, for the rear grip tape, you are also going to get all 3. Before we move on to the next section, I hope you guys enjoy this brief gameplay with the M13 Morning Star. Confirmed. 
The second best item in this Dominion Mythic drop is the Ghost Australia skin, which is the only Ghost skin inside of Call of Duty Mobile that came out inside of a lucky draw. So this is undoubtedly one of the best skins inside of Call of Duty Mobile. Another thing I like about this Ghost skin is that all the other Ghost skins they have focused more on the military type of Ghost, but for this skin they have focused more on the mystic and the spiritual side of Ghost. Asriel means the Angel of Death. It is also all black skin, so it will be a really good camo flash not just in multiplayer but also in battle royale this is the ghost skin that i have used the most inside of call of duty mobile ghost is iconic for his skull face but for the majority of his skins we do not see the matching skeleton anywhere else in his skin but with this astral skin you can see skeleton of his hand that's really amazing let's also take a look at the other items in this mythic drop we are going to get the legendary thermite in this mythic drop Back in the day, there was a huge controversy for adding a legendary thermite because everyone hated thermite at the time. So those who have missed it previously, you can get it right now. The emote is not clearly a mythic caliber emote. It would be better if we see meteorites or anything like that. But yeah, we get this emote with this mythic drop. They have also added a decal skin, which is the 50 GS meteorite inside of this mythic drop. It's actually a pretty decent skin. Then with the same textures, we are going to get the SKS meteoric skin, which is also a great skin skin for the SKS. It has a different iron sight which is actually much better than the normal SKS. I have also used this SKS a lot inside of Call of Duty Mobile because it's so much easier to use and it is so thin when you ADS. The design is also very unique. It's so different than any of the SKS skins inside of Call of Duty Mobile right now. With this mythic drop we are also going to get the re-entry calling card which shows Ghost Rustreel and the M13 Morningstar. That's a beautiful calling card. The animated charm is also really nice item from this mythic drop as the only battle royale exclusive item from this mythic drop we are going to get this helicopter skin there is also nothing to complain about this skin and finally we get this epic karambit and for the record it is the thickest karambit inside of call of duty mobile this draw was first released october 2021 and exactly after one year we get it back and guess what it's still the thickest karambit in the game so those are all the items in this mythic drop and if you ask me if this draw is worth buying of course it does there is no question about that we get the m13 morning star the mythic blueprint that has no haters and one of the best course skins in call of duty mobile ghost astral we get a legendary thermite a case with different design and a brand new insight the thickest karambit inside of call of duty mobile and a beautiful calling card so most of the items in this row are really good except maybe for the emote the 50 gs and the helicopter but that is just my opinion what do you guys think about this draw and how many spins you're gonna try or you already tried let me know in the comment section and that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you found this video helpful please leave a like make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon watch my other videos and i will see you guys in the next one